Hello everyone, welcome back. You're looking at me through the Canon R7 with the 24, no, with the 16 millimeter f2.8. Looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? It's the 24 millimeter equivalent to uh, full frame. So, what do you think? 16 millimeter full frame f2.8 it's pretty good it's great for blogging um, I think it's sharp excellent I can go to uh, the Z7 II let me wake it up a little bit okay so here's the Z7 II there's the uh, Z62, and of course here's the puppy cam. And here she is, star of the show. So um, that's one that's sleeping. She likes being by me. She's been sick. Uh, gave her some medicine, so she's a lot better now. But she's sleeping a lot. Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to show is I'm going to move the R7 down a little bit, and then I'm going to show you uh, what I have in the different camera bags for kind of like behind the scenes of what I've been doing for the uh, APS-C uh, shootout. That's between the R7, the Z30, which you can also include a uh, ZFC. Uh, the only difference is the Z30 doesn't have the uh, EVF or the flash from the Z50. Uh, but uh, it has the body of the Z50, just no EVF. And uh, it does have some dials, but not as much as uh, the ZFC in the classic look. Um, no time limit. Uh, same thing with the ZVE10. So. When I had those shootouts between those three uh, cameras, um, I think the Z30 pulled out pretty much on the car blogging. Now I'm getting ready for landscape, pictures of deer, you know, stills and stuff like that. So um, that's like test two and three right there. Uh, I'll put in a little foliage, uh, flowers, stuff like that. And uh, anyhow, let's uh, show you what's in my uh, camera bags. So with the uh, 16 millimeter F2.8 from Canon, I'll start with the Canon uh, briefcase. So I have a Digipix Manfrotto desktop tripod. Love these things. I have a, uh, now, this does not charge through USB-C, uh, so I got me a dummy battery, and I plugged it into a surge protector, so I don't have to worry about the batteries draining on me, they're fine, they're going to stay charged, now I do have a USB connection, I'll try it later, but uh, it does have a little converter, so maybe that's enough I'm going to try it in the car, okay? And if uh, I can get the camera stay charged in the car with the dummy battery, uh, I'll be happy with that. But anyhow, I bought some extra lens hoods with all the lens I was showing off. So like here's the 35 millimeter. And I got the lens hood. I have the uh, 50 millimeter new lens hood. I got these all from Amazon, next day delivered. You know, one thing I forgot was on the kit lens, 18 to 150, I'll get me a lens hood. I don't know if there is one. Feels like there's grooves, so I'll get me one. I think that's an extra cost. Of course, here's the 100 to 400, and I have a lens hood on this too. Here is the 85 millimeter. 
lynch hit. And of course, uh, Rode wireless mics. I got the uh, battery charger for the wall and two batteries. So, uh, anyhow, that's one bag. And that's, I like to keep all the cameras' lenses in one bag. So I have one for Canon, one for Nikon, and one for uh, Sony. So if I open up this other bag, which is heavy, and let's see, where's the zippers? Okay. So, round two. Open it up. I have the uh, lens hoods. I think they're like the, uh, let's see, the 24 to 200, the 20, and the 24 millimeter um, lens hoods I have in here. That's a good place to carry it in the uh, extra pouch right here. You know, look at this, this is 24 to 200. This is the 14 to 30. So the lens hood is in there. 24 to 200, the lens hood is also in there. Great reach, still great lens. This is the uh, 35 millimeter. It's the uh, F1.8 S line. Right here is the 20 millimeter F1.8 S line prime. There's another prime, the 85 millimeter F1.8 S prime. We got back here the 24 millimeter with the lens hood. And then back here, if I can get it out, it's the 50 millimeter. So I, I got everything there. I got the 20, 24, 35, 50, 85 prime. And of course back here, I have the macro 52.8. And uh, the other lenses I have, so if I go to the grandfather clock, that's 105 millimeter. And that's with the uh, Z62. This right here, the Z72, with the 24 to 120. And then if I go to the puppy cam, where you can watch Wanda, this is the 28 to 75, f2.8. This is a good lens also. So let's get back to here. All right, let's see what the next one I'm going to have. So, I love these bags right here. Um, I got these Sun Park small 4200XL. And let me lock it this way. There we go. They open up, they swivel. We got two of these. You can always use tripods when you're um, in the shootout. Open up the bag here. This is hard plastic. You can put stuff in here. Batteries, you name it. Maps. It's uh, hard plastic. It's waterproof. But look at this. Look at all the lenses I can carry in this bag. So like here's the Sony. And this is the... Uh, 50 millimeter G compact. It has the aperture ring on here. This is uh, the FE 2.5. This one right here is the other one. Oh, yeah, this is the 24 millimeter G. And this is uh, F 2.8. They have a 40 millimeter, which is kind of like the triplet, but uh, couldn't get my hands on it. 
Yeah, I got a 35 millimeter in the middle, so. So anyway, I have the APSC 56 millimeter, which is an 84 millimeter equivalent on a full frame, F1.4. This one right here is the uh, Sigma, and this is the 16 millimeter, F1.4. This is like a 24. And then right here is the last Sigma. This is, well, no, this is the 30 millimeter, F1.4. I think that one there, let's see, that one, that one. So that was the 56 millimeter, okay. 84 equivalent. Show that. Show this. No, nope. this is the F1.8 50 millimeter. There we go. We're back in focus. And of course, uh, I got the big long one right here. So this is the uh, APSC. 70 to 350. This right here is a 16 to 55. This is the G lens. No, this is the 85 millimeter at 1.8, full frame. So I love the 85 millimeters. Either they come in APS-C at 56 or 57. I love them. And then of course, here's the APS-C um, 16 to 55 G. So these are great camera bags. I even have a little battery pack in here. Uh, 3.0 or 3.1 and the USB uh, micro. So these bags are great. They're waterproof. So there's three bags, folks. Now, you've seen this. So, if I have the camera shootout all on tripods and you're looking at them, I need a camera to film them. So I could either use the ZFC or this uh, A7C. Uh, like the A7C, it has the uh, battery cable, you know, USB 3 to USB C. I got three batteries and the uh, power brick in this pocket. The A7C itself with the kit lens 28 to 60. And of course, I always carry with every camera the cap lens and the uh, rear lens cap for the uh, lens that's mounted on the camera. Very important. You're always changing it out. And if you lose one, you got next one in your bag. So. Next bag. Yeah. yeah, you've seen this one. This is a Z50 bag. So, cable. You know, for charging. On the other side is the uh, the battery, so you can plug it in, or you can charge it uh, through a cable. Really, you can't. Um, no, you can through the cable. It's just that the camera can't be on. It has to be off. That's the only bad thing about the Z50. But. Uh, like here's the uh, kit lens, 50 to 250. Here's the uh, 18 to 140, which I like very much. It's for the DX APSC uh, brand. And here's the Z50 with the kit lens, 16 to 50. On the small rig, I have the wooden handle, have the uh, cage, I have a ceremonic uh, with the uh, small three inch um, stereo cable hooked up to it. Excellent. What, what I like about this camera is, guess what? 
still has a flash to it. And you notice it goes over the cage. So anyhow, there, this here, I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> Get this bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is a Nikon bag. All right. The way I can tell is uh, besides the uh, power brick and the cable, you know, charged by USB-C, it's USB-3 to USB-C, okay? That's what came with the Z30. But I got the power brick from the Z50 and the ZFCs and stuff. So I got enough chargers around for all the cameras for Nikon, uh, for the APS-C lines. So what I have in this bag, another tripod. I have two cameras in here. So here's my uh, lovable ZFC. With the 40 millimeter. F2 gives me a 60 millimeter equivalent. This is a full frame lens. And of course, the body and lens cap on here. But yeah, put it this way. And put this back in. And of course, in the middle pocket, I get the Z30. And I can take this off. I can turn it on. Ta-da! I'm filming you. This one to shoot out in the car vlogging. Close it up. Turns it off. Excellent. Very light. It's like the Z50. The way it handles. Just missing the uh, EVF. But still has a horseshoe. And... Um, it's a little bit different on the, the cablings right here, which I like. And then, you know, the mic on the side. So, anyway, that there. And of course, I can have a ceremonic or I can have the roads. I got two more lenses. I got the 28 millimeter SC and the uh, kit lens for the ZFC. So those are the ZFC's kit lens. This right here, oh, what happened? Okay, what did I do with it? There it is. There's the 28 millimeter, which I picked up. So I have three of these 28 millimeters. Put that there. Okay. Put this back here. And last but not least, put that there. And now for the last bag. Ah, oh, yes. And you guessed it. So the ZV-10 is in this bag. So guess what? Another tripod. Showing off this uh, power battery brick. I'll do um, two USB 3 and USB C. The uh, small pouch with the cables to charge different cameras and things with. Then a power brick too with the cable for the ZV 10. That came with the ZV 10. So, anyhow, and of course. Uh, lenses so i get the kit lens um the 55 to 210 that came with the a6100 and this came with the uh zv10 16 to 50. so uh, turn this this way yeah, you had it real good in the bag, and then you take it out and you mess everything up. 
that in first. Put this in. Okay. All right. Put this back in. Put the tripod back in. And I have four batteries extra. So, go back to me. So this is my me camera. They don't go like that. Okay. So I point to the TV. That way you can see me from here. Up. No, you can't. You got to click on it. There. So, there. Me. And then, um, and then, of course, the R7. No, that's me. I'm sorry. Here's the R7. Look a little weird, don't I? 24 millimeter. Looks kind of fat, kind of low. I uh, turn off the uh, barrel distortion. But who would have known? Weird, isn't it? But anyway, this is a 24 millimeter. It's not great for portraits, but it's great for uh, viewing products. This is the 16 millimeter, by the way. So, anyhow, let's get back to good looking me. Right here. Okay, so, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, any questions, just write a comment. And we'll end this by looking at uh, the prettiest dog in the world, my Wanda, sleeping soundly. So until next time, stay safe, keep smiling, goodbye.